Are you struggling to keep sugar out of your diet and really bad sugar cravings? Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to get rid of and reduce your sugar cravings. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome. So sugar, it's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, we all really love sugar. So if it's so tasty, why is it so bad for us? Well, do I really need to tell you why sugar is bad? Okay, let me get into it a little bit with you. One of the number one reasons why sugar is bad is because it drives insulin. And when we have elevated insulin on a regular basis, this can eventually lead to all kinds of chronic diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and many more. Not to mention that sugar drives inflammation throughout the body as well. So overall, it is not a quality substance to be eating on a regular basis. Okay guys, here's another thing. It depletes nutrients from your body. Let me give you an example. So at the cellular level, glucose and vitamin C both compete to get into the cell. And guess what always wins? The glucose always wins. So that means eventually you will have a deficiency of vitamin C because sugar will always get in there instead of the vitamin C that you may be ingesting. So keep that in mind, not good for your nutrient levels. Uh, and also obviously it can cause weight gain and many other problems. So if it's so bad, why do we crave it so much? Well, we have more sweet receptors on our tongue than for any other type of flavor. So that could be one reason. Another reason is the way that it lights up the brain when you eat it is just like using drugs. It lights up the receptors that make you feel pleasure. So it's a very addictive substance. So that's another reason why people love it so much. Another thing is the more you have of it, the more you want. So you have sugar all day long and you just keep craving it over and over because your body is burning through it really quickly and it needs more. It's not the best source of fuel. There's two sources sources of fuel, either glucose or fat. So sugar being glucose, it's a very short lived type of fuel. So you have to keep replenishing it. Whereas fat burns longer. Some of the best ways to have a better fuel source are to switch your body over into fat burning instead of sugar burning. But this is a process and takes time. So now let's get into some of the ways that we can start to reduce or even eliminate the sweet cravings. So there are two ways to go about it. You can either go slow and eventually get it out of your diet, or you can do cold turkey and just stop it completely. Don't recommend this one. It's very difficult to do. You're not going to feel so great and you may wind up going back again. So if you do it gradually over time, you will notice it gets easier and easier this way. And also it becomes more of a habit. So first you to start crowding out the sweets in your life, you should start increasing some other foods, especially things like healthy fats, things like protein, and fiber, especially fiber coming from things like leafy greens, because this will also give you more nutrients, especially minerals. This will not only help with your cravings, but it will also help your body's nutrient stores to stay the way they should be. So you're going to increase those things, protein, fat, and especially greens, and you're going to decrease all, all types of sugar in your diet, processed foods, grains and starches, and even fruit. I mean, you can have some fruit like low sugar fruit, but you want to lower the amount of fruit you're eating overall because fruit isn't necessarily bad, but you still want to just eat it in moderation. So next, once you start doing this, your body's going to start learning how to burn fat in addition to sugar as one of its fuel sources. And the better your body gets at this, the more easy it will be to go off of the sweets eventually and use fat as your fuel source. So this happens over time. So just take it easy and go slow and be patient with this. Next, you can also start to swap out certain types of sweeteners for things like stevia. That will help as well because stevia does not give any type of insulin response and it makes things taste really sweet without any of the detrimental effects of sugar. So swap out the sugar that you're using in your coffee or tea with stevia or use stevia in other recipes and that will help to give you the sweet taste without the 
side effects and bad things from sugar. Another thing you can do is when you're cooking, you can use more spices in your food that will give your food a bit of a sweeter taste and that will help as well. Things like cinnamon, coriander, nutmeg, use more spices overall and this will also help give the food a little bit of more of a sweet taste so that you're feeling like you're eating something like that even though you're not okay so if you're really struggling with all of this and none of this is working there is an herb that you can take that works really awesome and in ayurvedic medicine it's called the sugar destroyer and that's literally what it does it destroys the taste for sugar and it helps lower blood sugar overall this herb is called gymnema the the company that we use is MediHerb and their Gymnema is extremely high quality. Try using Gymnema as an herb in addition to all the things I recommended and that should really make a huge difference if everything else is not working. So in general guys, start reducing your sugar consumption and gradually over time your body will thank you for it in many ways. You will start to reduce chronic disease, you will feel better, you'll be able to go longer between meals. So if you're trying to do intermittent fasting, you're trying to burn fat, these things will get a lot easier once the sugar and grains and starches come out of your diet. So please share this information with someone that you know that may need this. And if you wanna work with us one-on-one, -on -one, check out the link below. We do offer a free consultation. And don't forget to smile. It is good for your health and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.